Good afternoon, everybody. Listen, we are talking about um, self-love today. And I wanted to... I wanted to be reason for motivation. But... Um, I was a little down in my spirit this morning. And so I don't think it would have come across the way that... Um, I would have intended it so I didn't share it I'm going throughout the day and I'm thinking I know that a lot of days are not great I know that a lot of days aren't even good days they're not great they're not days that you feel happy on I think that for many of us, you struggle with some form of seasonal sadness. It is seasonal affective depression. That with the changing of weather and wind, you're either happy or you're sad. I think this is the story for a lot of us in the room. And today I wanted to share because I um, I realized that many times people can't overcome because we are afraid of rejection to the point that I don't want to share my story. So I'll serve for testimony in advance for somebody that is on their way out of the struggle that you're in right now. feel in my spirit that maybe somebody can use this on today and so I want to be for all intensive purposes your catalyst to get out of whatever it is you find yourself struggling with I don't know I don't know where you are I don't know who you are I don't know what you've been dealing with I don't know the struggle or the strain I don't know the stress I don't know the sickness I don't know the situation but I just came here to drop a word to somebody in the room on today and tell you there is not anything that you can't come back from. The Bible says that Jesus said to him, if, if I be lifted up, will I draw all man, any man, sad man, happy man, depressed man, oppressed man, black man, white man. I'll draw sinner man's, I'll draw religious man, I'll draw denominational oriented man's, I'll draw convicted man, I'll, I'll draw all man unto me if they would just lift me up. And I tell you, I cannot help, I cannot help on this Sunday to think about him on the cross being lifted up I said they say that he's king of the Jews but they would number him amongst the transgressors when it is that you put God I put God they put God we put God on an old rugged cross that we would stop his work by nailing his hands pinning his hands down the wood. We would stop his progress by what it is that we put nails in his feet. But I'm, I'm reminded that the day will come when whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. They nailed his hands and his feet, but they forgot that he still had a mouth. 
And though he can't walk away and he cannot free himself with his hands, he, he begins to project with his mouth, Father, forgive him. Can I tell you on today that God forgives you? He forgives you for the denial. He forgives you for the betrayal. He forgives you for not self-loving. He forgives you for not serving him as God. He forgives you for not loving him as daddy. He forgives you for not thanking him for yesterday. He forgives you for waking up this morning being idle mind worshiping rather than rather than lifting the creator. He said, I, I forgive you for everything that you used to do. I, I forgive you for everything that you're doing. But my God, he, he says, I even forgive you for the stuff that you don't even know you're going to do. All you got to do is lift me up. It is in Luke chapter 22 and 23. Where he's numbered with them. They gamble his clothes. Thief on the left and the right of him. He asks something to drink. He trying to find out where my mama at, my brother at. He says, Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? He says he will lay his head in the locks of his shoulders and give up the ghost. He says, it's finished. I just came. I just arrived. I just jumped in on the day to let somebody know that it's finished. Listen to me. It is whatever your struggle is. It is finished. What whatever it is that's been pressing on you all last night is it's it's finished. Whatever it is that's been bothering your mind, it's, it's finished. What, whatever it is that you find yourself in a place where you could doubt God, it's, it's, it's finished. What, whatever it is that's been causing your relationship strain, it's, it's finished. Whatever it is that you cannot trust God to deliver you out of the situation, that thing is finished. It's, 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 it's finished on today. It's, it's finished. It's, it is finished. It's finished in projection. It's, it's finished in equation. It's, it's finished in demonic attack. It's, it's finished in threatening your life. It's, it's finished stressing you the hell out. It's, it's that the, the weight that's been over your home is being lifted because it's finished. I don't know who I'm talking to on the room on today and maybe maybe this ain't for you so I'll just I'll just preach to make myself feel better. Jeremiah whatever it is that you're facing in life is is finished. What whatever it is that kept you up all last night is is finished. The, the depression is finished. The, the aches and pains in the body is is finished. The, the plague that's that's over your family the curse that's over your bloodline, the, the self-doubt and the, the lack to see who you really are is is all that stuff is 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 finished. Prove it, preacher. He dies somewhere around the ninth hour, and it is that they lay him in the tomb, wrap him in swaddling clothes. He is all purposes a dead man laying there. He lay there all night Thursday into Friday morning. He's there all Friday into the Sabbath. He's there all Sabbath Saturday, Saturday night. I know it's not in the Bible, but can I tell you, I, I feel like Somewhere around, somewhere, 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 somewhere around Thursday night to, to Saturday morning. Thursday night to, to late Saturday, Saturday night. It is that he will go to hell and defeat the enemy on my behalf. Every fight I would ever be in in my life, he says, I've already defeated the enemy for your behalf. 
somewhere, 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 somewhere between Thursday and Sunday morning, somewhere between Thursday and 12 o'clock Sunday, Sunday morning, it is, it is that he will go, go to the grave and pick my body up for when it is that I will die in sin, he will, he will go and breathe life, breath back into this lifeless form of skin, he, he would, he would, he would, he would dig my grave and open my casket and speak unto me, live and shall not die. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere around Thursday all the way to early 12 a.m. Sunday morning. And it is that he would confront death say I know Jeremiah owes a debt I know, I know, I know, I know I know that he's guilty and that he owes you and cannot pay that Jesus would arrive at death's gate and say I'm here to pay the ransom because I want my son back, I, I just I just came on today to tell somebody there is not anything that you cannot come back from, it, it is somewhere Somewhere, 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 early Sunday morning, there's that he would he would rise from the dead with the keys and victory of death, hell, and the grave in his hands. And he says, All power do I give unto you, my God. That there is not anything that you're not able to do. There's not anything you cannot come back from. I do not care you are. I do not care what they say. I do not care what it is that they want to subscribe you to or lose you through that it is that they want to pin you or they want to nail you or they want to hold you down. Let me tell you on today that it is that they forgot you had a mouth. If you would but learn, learn how to lift him up. Learn, 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 learn how to lift him up. It is that he will, he will draw you a little bit closer on high. When it, when it is that you feel down, lift them up. When it, when it is that you cannot see your way through the storm, lift them up. When it, when it is that you have to fight your way uh, to find your freedom of what it is that you find happiness of what it is you find peace of what it, what it is that you know to be your faith, you better lift him up. Let me, let, let me, let me, let me tell you something about lifting. Lifting will lift you. That's all, that's all, that's all, that's all, that's all, that's all I got. That's all I got on the day. I just need to encourage somebody in a room feeling a little down on today that it is. You have to learn how to lift him up because when you lift up that dame, it is that you, 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 you go higher, the higher you lift him up. You, you better learn how to lift up Jesus high and lift it up.